Well, one of the big things when you're like me and you go for old man walks uh, is you got to make sure that you stretch. Guys, are you out there? Are you stretching? You know what? I'd ask the ladies if you guys are stretching too, but, you know, I don't, you know, I try to avoid women now. (laughs) Every little thing seems to upset them and set them off. Right, and then you fucking lose your goddamn career. So I'm, I'm, you know, I got my wife. I talk to her. I just fucking everybody else. Like, hey, I give him the wave. Hey guys, what's up? This must panda. And that clip that I just put up there is from uh, Bill Burr. I think it's from one of his podcasts that he does, and he really embodies this whole new movement with men and how. It's not even like a movement, really. It's just most men don't feel like dealing with this new version of society we're living in. And it is generally safer, like against false accusations, against just crazy people in general, to limit who you're around. And like how he specifically said, he avoids women in general. I mean, he's a married man, so this is a reasonable thing for a married man to do is just to avoid women because he doesn't want to be put in any detrimental situation that could harm his marriage. But even for men that aren't married, even single men, you should really watch the kind of people you're hanging around because if you're hanging around crappy people or scummy people, like, like a false accusation is really bad. But that sometimes isn't even the worst thing that could happen. You could just be caught up in something like I've known people to get pinched because they were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Like somebody gets killed, somebody gets murdered and it's like, well, you were here. They round you up. It's like, oh, you knew the girl, you knew the guy. And boom, now they're facing like a life sentence. Now, I do know some people that were convicted of similar things where they were technically not the perpetrator, but because they were involved, they still went to prison. And now the reason why you wouldn't want to like be around sketchy people is because sketchy people do sketchy things and sketchy things can be illegal things or just unsavorable. And to avoid all of this, I think it's just good practice to be very careful of the friends you keep and the acquaintances you keep. Because if you keep like bad company, bad things can happen. A good rule for your life is you want loyalty above everything. Because a good loyal friend won't isn't gonna put you in a bad situation. A good loyal friend is gonna stay by your side, like if you're falsely accused or something bad happens to you. A good loyal friend. It's going to like be a good loyal friend as opposed to the opposite where it's like you want to be around crappy people. Well, if something crappy happens and they flake on you or they gang up on you and side against you. That's your own fault because you didn't keep good friends and good acquaintances. And now this rule obviously applies to romantic relationships or just friendships. It applies to everything. Like you don't want to be dating people that are just like crappy people like a big red flag for me is when i was dating this one girl she was a like one of these like gossip girls that always complained about other people specifically like other women and it was weird she would go out of her way to attack these people behind their back and it was just like this weird dynamic and i was like dude what are you doing like why are you acting so bad towards these people like they didn't do anything to you And it was just like that was the kind of person she was. She would go out and attack people for how they dressed or how they acted really like for no reason. I was like, okay, maybe I don't want to be around people like this. And so obviously that relationship didn't last. But it's very important that everyone understand that you need to have good friends, good relationships, and like you need to know like what to look out for. And one of the best things to look out for is just don't hang around with crummy people, sketchy people, grungy people, or just like all these bad traits. Just stay away. 